Hey friends, I'm Cole. That's my wooden bear who does not have a name. You're watching Paperboy, and we're about to talk about some things. So this week, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I'm sick and I'm fighting it. So that's why my voice sounds extra deep. I didn't have a cool voice drop, I wish I did, but let's just pretend that my voice sits here all the time. I don't know what all this movement is about. So this week's topic, we are talking about whether or not, no, that's not what we're talking about. We are talking about the advantages and disadvantages of transitioning as an adolescent. <sighs> it seems like a heavy one because I feel like everyone has very different and drastic viewpoints on it at least in conversations that I've had and some people who have attacked me on social media. I should preface this by saying I transitioned at age 33. I don't really know how to approach this to offer advice to anyone who's looking to transition as a teenager, but what I can do is talk about how I think it would have affected me as a teenager and talk about how I was as a teenager and what could have changed or what could have been different had I transitioned. First off, I think I wanna say that I don't think I would have started medically transitioning as a teenager. I would have considered at least taking whatever it is that they give you. I don't even know the name of it, which I probably should have looked up before making this video, so apologies for that. But I probably would have taken whatever they give you to kind of delay the onset of puberty. That monthly thing that happens to humans who are born female was really detrimental to my mental health and caused some things. Um, so if I could have delayed that and delayed the development of, um, you know, this area, that would have been really awesome because those were probably two really big things during my teenage years that kind of made me uncomfortable and uneasy. I almost wish that I was able to come out at the very least as a teenager. Um, I think that on the advantages side, I would have been able to at least be in therapy and talk to someone about my feelings openly and in a safe environment. And, you know, maybe I would have been able to talk to my family about it and they would be in a different spot now with my transition than they are because um, uh, my parents currently aren't on the same page as me. But, you know, if, had I been able to do that, you know, 20 years ago, Things could have been very different for me now. Um, not that I regret anything, because I don't. You know, everything in life happens for a reason, and we're all on our own path for a very specific reason, and I totally accept that. But I think that as a teenager, like having those conversations would have been very good for me. I was a very sensitive teenager. I was a very fragile teenager. I was withdrawn, and I was pretty depressed. So I feel like at least being able to express the feelings that I had would have definitely helped. Now, on the disadvantage side, and again, this is just for me, I don't want anyone to take this and run with it because everybody's situation is different. And I'm also talking about what the world was like in the early 2000s, late 90s. That just made me feel old. I'm not old though, right? I'm not old. Can someone please comment and let me know that I'm not old? Cause now I'm feeling old. <laughs> anyway, so I lost my train of thought. But yeah, so I'm talking about what things would have been like 20 years ago. And I think that had I started transitioning um, socially at the very least, I think that would have been very difficult for me because I was already, I was already being picked on for a lot of other things. I think that that would have kind of hurt me in a way. So I'm actually, kind of thankful that I didn't transition as a teenager because not only did those years make me stronger now, but I think that it would have been a lot harder for me had I actually transitioned. As far as advice for anyone who is a teenager who's watching this video and is unsure whether or not they should transition, I think that starting out with maybe some therapy would be good. Um, even if you just ask to go to a therapist, you don't have to tell them why. Go to therapy and have someone that you can talk to in a safe, comfortable environment where there's no judgment and no backlash as far as like your parents grounding you or yelling at you or taking your phone away. Um, but 
you have someone who's very open to what you're saying and can offer you guidance when you're ready to have that conversation with your parents and decide what you want to do about transition. Do you want to medically transition now? Do you want to wait? Do you want to offset puberty? Do you want to just transition socially for now? You transition just in your home, just in school. You know, there's so many options out there. But I think that therapy or even a school counselor is a great place to start. And then together, you and your counselor or you and your family can kind of weigh the advantages and disadvantages for your particular situation because everyone's situation is going to be different. There are people who will do so much better by transitioning as an adolescent and there are people who are in a situation where it actually may be more comfortable or safer to wait until they're 20 or wait until they're 18 or whatever the case may be. So just know that everyone's situation is different. Everyone is able to make their own choices, but I am very happy with the choices that I've made. So that being said, I'm going to ask you, as I always do, to give a thumbs up to this video because I thumbs up you. Subscribe to the channel so you can hear more about what we have to say, and I will talk to you next Saturday. Happy holidays.